Boom. Man, back at you. Welcome, everyone, to JPTV, believe it or don't, where you're going to get the news, whether you're emotional or not, okay? You're going to get this news, all right? This platform, for those who don't know, this platform is the rewiring the brain of the blacks and to give them the proper information that to make the necessary changes within. Okay. Um, I believe in showing you so you can see it for yourself and you can make the proper changes, proper adjustments. Okay. To get the morals back. Because a lot of us are lacking moral character. Okay. Anyway, thank you all for coming through. Make sure you take that time out. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not. And continue to follow me because I have some news for you. You dig what I'm saying? Good Welcome to JP. Welcome to JP. JP. Welcome to JP. 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 First of all, we're going to start off with the breaking news. And this is some tragic news. I mean, this stuff is, it, it, it has to be a silver line. And it has to be a, 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 a way when you don't want to take it that far. It has to be a way, right? Check this out. Activist Charles McKenzie is overcome by emotion as his one month old niece continues to fight for her life after she and a half dozen others are hit by gunfire in Inglewood. I can finish it for him. It's hard when we out here fighting every day for everybody else's and it hit home. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's what he wanted to say. Yes. It hit home. Yes. So he said it hit home. Okay. And a lot of you niggas out there think it's a game when you're out there. Um, you know, listen to this music and if you want to go grab a gun and act like you are and shit and go shoot. You know, niggas shoot everything but what they supposed to shoot or who they supposed to shoot anyway. You know what I'm saying? But this is his niece, one month year old. Check the story. One out. month old Tariana Smith remains hospitalized after being shot in the head during a brazen daytime attack near 66 and Holstead in the Southside community. The baby is in guarded condition after having successful surgery this morning. Well, it is such a brain, so. It, um, it was just at the top, like, you know, uh, at the top of my head. So they just had to close it up. Video footage from a nearby security camera captured the violence. It shows three gunmen shooting in all directions after pulling up in a dark colored Jeep as residents ran for their lives. Then the shooters jumped back in the vehicle and speed away. He dropped the, he dropped the gun and everything. Look, he dropped the, pistol, he dropped the little uh, assault weapon right there and everything. Look at that. No one is in custody as police process the family's bullet SUV they used to rush the wounded infant to the hospital. Some neighborhood residents say a liquor store on the block where the shootings happen is a source of the problem. We don't need people coming in the community, speaking to community leaders if they have not spoken to the residents. According to Chicago police, 172 children have been shot and 25 kids have been murdered so far this year. Reason why some pray for the violence to end. And check this out. It's not white people jumping out of cars and acting all crazy like this. I don't know white people doing that. Look at that. What a, such a mess. And as they also call for an end of the code of silence, they say often allows the shooters to escape justice. Did you hear that? The code of silence that the community have, the no snitching thing, after a <laughs> one month year old baby, no one steps up. Someone helped you, someone covered you, someone loved you. But then you show love back by taking and shooting this baby. Wow. Amazing. Yesterday, guess what happened in Washington, D.C.? Check this out. 
deadly shooting happened just after 11 p.m. at the intersection of Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X Avenues. Fox 5's Aisha Khan is live at police headquarters this morning with more on the investigation. Good morning, Aisha. Good morning to you, Maureen. Yeah, this is such a tragic story. You know, police say a six-year-old girl, you know, who was among six people shot, uh, who was shot and she died at the hospital. Five other people were also shot. There are adults, three men, two women who were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police are not saying a whole lot about this case as far as there's a motive. This was targeted. All they've been able to say so far is that they're looking for a dark colored uh, vehicle. Here is the assistant chief talking last night. Take a listen. There's too much gun violence still perpetuating in this city. And too many children being harmed, um, innocent children by gunfire. So please uh, help the police department, our detectives, bring those people to justice and help bring some closure to the families. Amazing. Chicago, that was what, a one month year old. And I believe she's still fighting for her life. I'm not, I'm not sure, but that was the last thing that they said that she was fighting for her life. Six year old killed in, in Washington, D.C. just yesterday. Is that. And I don't think they, you know, have a motive. Let me continue the video. You got to feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Where, where's the love for uh, humanity or for, you know, for another human? You know, it's just. It don't exist, okay, in the minds of the lost blacks. And then the black people doing it, you know what I'm saying? It's, probably, it's black people doing running wild, running wild. You know what I'm saying? All a product of um, single mothers. That's what that's a product. That's what all that shit right there is. And I'm going to prove it to you later on in this video. I got some more clips. I got some evidence. And we'll prove that. Okay, because when you lash out, that's why you have the weak men because they didn't forgive their mothers, but they were raised by their mom. So they have that condition and they act out in violence, just like a woman would out of anger into the world. And that's what happens. Okay, I got another clip for you. Very interesting, right? Seconds, a five-year-old skipping ahead of his mother on Thursday, grabbed by a man in front of her and thrown in the back of this car on Hillside Avenue in the Richmond Hill section of Queens. It's quick. <laughs> and say, oh my God, my kids, please. Dolores Diaz jumps into mama bear mode, racing to get her son back. And when the people come and take him, I curl and the car and my daughter and my boy and... Now, I never knew the blacks were doing that shit, though. I never, like, I had to be honest. Mm, take the, I want to open the car, but I can't. At the same time, her son opens the back window. Then my kid is turned up on the window. I take it out. Good Samaritans hearing the screams try to stop the car and chase after the two men. Police want you to take a good look at the guys. Today, the five-year-old's mind was on cartoons. His mother, however, is shaken. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, when I watch it, with, oh my God. Really? Me? That's cute. And this, I, and this is basically the topic of the day. Am I wrong with that? women and my disclaimer for the people out there is getting twist, twisted out here i don't hate women i just like to stick to the facts and i really understand what's going on uh, inside for the most part men shouldn't have emotions shouldn't be emotional shouldn't be emotional <laughs> all right you know what i'm saying I know you do. <laughs> All right. She jumped out the car. 535 to a development story. Part of the North Freeway's back open this morning after the death of a teenager. Investigators say she jumped out of a moving car last night or FM 1960. KPRC 2's Vincent Carvelli joins us live from the scene with what led up to this tragedy, Vince. <laughs> Lisa, good morning. Detectives are still working out all the details in this deadly situation, but they do say that the mother and daughter had been arguing before this all unfolded. 
Overnight, a horrific situation on the North Freeway in Harris County. Investigators say while traveling in a car, a mother and her teenage daughter were arguing. Then for some reason, the teenager jumped out of the vehicle. On arrival, uh, deputies learned that a uh, juvenile female was uh, confirmed deceased. Right now, detectives are trying to figure out why she exited her mother's car and what killed her. Investigators say they spoke with a witness driving behind the mother and daughter who swerved out of the way. But we don't have a, a witness that can say that she was actually struck by a woman. Uh, man, I mean, that's crazy. You definitely need the uh, man in the house. That's what I try to stress on this uh, platform. I really try to stress that on this platform. You know? it's, it's, not enough, it's not enough information or resources or ads or advertisements or commercials that's for the uh, disencouragement of um, breaking up, you know what I'm saying? They should, they should disc encourage you from breaking up, you know what I'm saying? Make it seem like it's real bad. But they don't have that. It's all the, the opposite. You know, You know, I do agree on some of the things in the Bible, and it says be in the world, but don't be out of the world. You know what I'm saying? I see what you mean by that. I see what you mean by that, King James. Okay? Because I think that's who wrote the book. King James. Oh, let's take a walk. Okay? Let's take a walk. One down. Raised by single mothers are more likely to be far worse on a number of dimensions, including their school achievements, social and emotional development, their health and their success in the labor. They are at greater risk of parental abuse and neglect, especially from living boyfriends who are not their biological fathers, more likely to become teen parents and less likely to graduate from high school or college. Not all children raised in single parent families suffer these adverse outcomes. It is simply that the risks are greater for them. Okay, one possibility is in two parent family to do better because of increased resources available to them. Single parents only have one income coming into the house. On top of that, single parents often have to spend a great, well, I had to stop it right there because now I got the government help. So, you know, they, they, they got two incomes. They got the government help and the job that they work with. They still got, the, you know what I'm saying, a lot of stuff to deal with. Uh, on top of that, single parents often have to spend a greater portion of their income on child care because they do not have a co-parent to stay home. See, they ain't got to pay somebody, pay somebody to uh, watch the kid. You know, two parents also have more time to spend with the child. A recent study by Richard Reeves, Kimberly Harvard, finds that parenting, um, parenting skills vary across demographic groups and that 44% of single mothers, single mothers fall into the weakest category. And only three percent in the jobs. This is what's going on. Single homes. I'm telling you, that's what it is. Single goddamn home. That's what it is. No balance in the house. It's only one thing. Mama got emotions, ego, and it needs a man to tame that down. And you know, for the most part, I can also prove that women are deceivers as well. It's, it's not. The, it's not the woman, but it's the spirit in the woman. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of e the, the spirit of evil, which is the ego. You know what I'm saying? She can't help it unless she returns back. Yeah. Um, chart, you know, my family type 2011 to 2012. Um, on the side, you have the fighting between the parents or adults in the household, you know, fighting in the house. So both that are married, biological parents, you know, the ones that decided to ride it out, stay together, they argue about 19%. That's something that they can fix, okay? Never married mother has about, mm, she argues a lot, you know, about 120. You know, she's up to 160. She's up to, okay? She, she's never married, okay? So she always, she don't have, she she, she don't want to go under uh, direction or correction from the man. 
Okay, so the ones that are divorced or separated mothers, man, they increased all the way up because they didn't deal with the problem before. You can't you can't leave a problem and go somewhere else because you're gonna have the same problem and you didn't deal with it. You didn't know how to deal with it from the first one. So that's why this is even more when you get divorced or separated. You know? So numbers don't lie. You know, a lot of people always just men lie, women lie, but, but numbers, numbers don't lie. This spirit of ego, which is the evil spirit. The evil spirit of the woman is the ego, man. And uh, she can overcome it. She can overcome that spirit if she forgives her mother for turning her away from the father. You know what I'm saying? Turning her away from, the, from her biological father. And that's why you have this mess because you let the woman lead, you let the woman do all this and do all that. And you have chaos. And that's what's going on now. So why she got into gang activity. And I'm playing this clip from Charlie Bo 313. Shout out to you. This is of my reaction of uh, the intro of this video. He was in Indianapolis. All right, taking a ride. Hey, um, all right, y'all, I'm over here in uh, Indianapolis. Nashawn Clay, okay, now, she's from this neighborhood, and um, as y'all can see, this place looked like it's probably seen some better days. Okay, so what kind of upbringing you, upbringing you did? And you told me that you was like in the past involved in some gang activity. So why don't you tell the people? I mean, cause I, I, if I would look at you, I would never think that, you know what I'm saying? But so why don't you tell the people a little bit about that? Uh, well, growing up out here, um, I grew up in an abusive household, like many of us in this community that I feel like played a major role in what, what goes on on the outside. Um, due to me, like facing like some psychological issues in my household and not growing up. She says, she said facing some psychological issues in our household remember, and remember we just went over some psychological behavior traits and, and the motive behind it let's see what she says uh, um i came outside and i was in the game my mom and all that was already a part of the game um so since, your mother yeah. what your mom there you go when daddy's out and mommy's in control Hell is coming straight to you. I'm glad all that was already a part of the game. Um, so since, your mother, yeah. well, I'm gonna do you. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, basically, joined the, I joined the game because, if you, as you said, like you want to notice that because, um, the truth was not accepted. I was aware, um, in the way that I thought did not go against it, went against what this neighborhood thought, and I would became a target. Um, so in order for me to fit in to be accepted. I, in order for her to fit in and to be accepted. Now, why would she think that? Why would she have those thoughts? It's because she didn't get it when she was in the house, which is the foundation. So she started to look for that shit in the, in the streets. To pick. So she had her mother's identity. She did the same thing her mother did. And that mother was that example of her and she followed in her same footsteps. I've been walking in these streets, not the streets, but I, I got up this morning, okay? I've been in the rain. Please, I'm trying to at least make, make $10. Oh, I can't do that with you. I mean, I, I, can, I, I can give you like a dollar or two. I am, uh, every time I go somewhere. There you go, $2. There you go. Sorry. It's, it's two twenty. No, and then just, just a uh, side note. Um, it's hard. Women won't admit that they have this ego and then they deal with it inside because they don't, they too busy to, they want to serve evil and not good. Try serving good sometimes. Try serving uh, good. Stop with the pretend love because we question if women have love anyway. You know, because they do all types of stuff. They take you to child support. They uh, force you to step out of the relationship. They, they have the final say so in abortion. So all this stuff that they think that they control, we have to men have to stand up and surprise them. You know, what I'm saying we're not going for that no more. You know, 
know, we're standing up right now. We're not going for that. You know, you can do that somewhere else, but you're not, you're not going to do that over here. Okay? Because eventually, they think about the kids. That's why the man is there, because the man thinks about the whole picture. And she only thinks about right now. You know what I'm saying? So we have to rectify that. And once they come back to the father, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be there to bring them back to the father, okay? Because you can't love anything if you hate your biological father. All right. So with that being said, family, thank you for coming past. And before you leave, please don't forget this. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The JPTV, believe it or don't, amazing content over there. That's why I come every week, man. It's worth it. It's all worth it. Mojo. Mojo. 